Hey everybody, what's happening? Sam the 3D Brewer coming at you and welcome to another brew day. Doing a Red Racer IPA today, so come along with me while we get this beer done. Cheers, we'll be back in a bit. Love you lots. Okay, so this is really, really neat. Had a, had a bit of an, an epiphany, if you will. Um... So I'm using the STC here to control my water temp on the heating elements for my strike and my sparge water. And I overshot my temperature by about a good 5 degrees. So I figured there's a cooling cycle on the STC, and I don't know if I've set it up or not, but we're going to find out. Uh, what I've done is I've plugged in my pump to the cool side of the STC. That will kick in. And recirculate my water and bring it down to temperature. I'm gonna see if it works. I'm really looking forward to this actually. Um, the other thing I did do, and I really want to thank the guys that commented on um, using a feeler gauge for um, setting up my grain mill. I borrowed one from work and was able to use it and got the gap nice and narrow. <laughs> yeah, that just sounds kind of funny. And got a really good crush. So this is it here. So after three years of mucking about with it and for ah, it worked. That's really cool. So I just kicked on and we're now going to recirculate. And then that's going to shut off. I love when a plan comes together. That's awesome. Okay, we're back. Um, Got our sparge well underway. We got about uh, 20 and a half liters collected. We're going to be collecting 24.61 and 24.6 liters, give or take. Um, one thing I've got to do is get some better graduation markings on the fermenters or the buckets I'm using in the boil pot for sure. So maybe that'll be a step for something in the future but um yeah so far so good first runnings were 1075 stuff that's coming off right now is 1035 1038 so i'm shooting for a pre-boil gravity of 1052 and i think i'm going to be close i'm really hoping i'm going to be close um i haven't changed my sparging methods which i've done previous brews because i really want to see um if the crush which I adjusted on the grain mill last night, has an effect. So we'll be done. We'll come back when we've got everything collected and into the pot. We'll take a gravity sample together and we'll see sort of how things are going. But I mean, right now it's 66 degrees Celsius, Fahrenheit Celsius. Uh, yeah, 66 degrees Fahrenheit of the old brew shed. Got the heat on. It's about minus five outside. It's a nice warmish day. For this part of the world and things are good things are very good indeed well i've got the hops going on uh, i got everything here ready to go and the cool thing is i'm using homegrown centennial hops for this recipe because um, basically i'm doing uh 28 well basically i'll just break it down into us for you guys um or imperial i should say we're doing one ounce of magnum at 60 minutes then at five minutes we're doing two ounces of centennial one ounce of amarillo and then one ounce of Simcoe. And then for a dry hop, for seven days, we're doing one ounce of Simcoe, one ounce of Centennial, and then finally another ounce of yeah, Simcoe, Centennial, and finally another ounce of Amarillo for a seven-day dry hop. We're going to ferment at 19.4 degrees for four days. See how things are progressing. And then we're going to take a look at dropping the temperature down to 16 degrees for that final dry hop, according to the old recipe. So yeah, I'll post the recipe. Um, I think I posted it on BrewTube, uh, the Facebook page. So Ali Sin, great friggin' work on that. If you guys haven't checked that out, you really have to. A uh, bunch of BrewTubers there. Um, great common area for everybody to post their videos, post their comments, and non-judgmental viewing, which is brilliant. Uh, absolutely brilliant. So yeah, we're going to get ready to uh, start our boil. We'll wait for the hot break and all that lovely jazz. And hopefully... Hopefully we don't get flooded out and have a skating ring coming in with the old Dunkelweizen. Okay, moment of truth, everybody. Moment of truth. Let's see. Oh, 
There we are. Let's see how things are progressing. So, 24.6 liters of wort collected. Let's take a gravity sample. Everything's all mixed up in here, so there should be no stratification of layers based on different densities. Nice and sweet, though. It tastes really good. Okay, so we're looking for pre boil volume, sorry, pre boil gravity of 1052. And we are sitting at 1055. So hopefully, you guys can see this. Oh, that's friggin' awesome. That makes me very happy. So yeah, 1055, hopefully that came through on camera, but if not, trust me when I say, we overshot our target. Which means that the combination of water temp management, the temperature adjustments I made uh, with the grain and beer smith, as well as finally the crush on the grain mill worked because I didn't adjust my sparge method. I left it as it was, um, which I've done before because I really wanted to eliminate any potential variables. <sighs> That's awesome. So we're going to write that down. 1.055. So now our final gravity or our original gravity, we're shooting for 1062. So this is the next variable we need to pay attention to. And that is the uh, that is the boil, um, but because I reduced um, a liter of wort that I collected, um, we should be pretty close because I was about three points shy on the Dunkelweizen last week, if I remember correctly. But then again, I did do a batch barge, so I changed the methodology of how I brew that way. And oh, nailing it! The science of brewing. I've always said before there wasn't a lot of science in brewing, but I was wrong. I got to admit, I was dead wrong. Huge amount of science in brewing, and I was an idiot for thinking that there wasn't. Take that to the bank. Okay, we'll be back. We've got our boil happen. Cheers, everybody. We'll be back. Be safe. We'll see you soon. Hey, everybody. We're back. So the boil is well underway. Actually, not well underway. Or let's just started it. Got my first uh, hops in. I did one ounce of magnum, or 28.3 grams of magnum for the 60-minute part. Just after the hot break, and look at this condensation. I mean, I get that figured out. It's never a problem in the summer, but because of the colder ambient air temperature, I think we get more. So, I don't know. Some guys give me some ideas, and yeah, I just haven't gotten off my lazy arse to do it yet. But either way, it is what it is. And the smell is just amazing. So, yeah, really, really excited to be three points over our original gravity, which is really, really cool. Uh, I've got both elements on the go right now. Got a nice vigorous boil happening. Hopefully, fingers crossed, things will work out so we get our final 20 liters into primary uh, with the original gravity of 1062, and we are well on track to that. So, um, that being said, we'll come back when I got the last tops going in for five minutes, which is. Two ounces of Centennial, one ounce of Simcoe, and finally, one ounce of Amarillo. But I can tell you right now, the smell in here is just amazing. I understand why the missus doesn't want me brewing in the house. But you know what? If you could bottle the smell of boiling wort with hops, you would make a fortune. Just a thought, just, a thought, just putting it out there. Anyways, you guys, we'll be back. We've got things happening again. Cheers. Thanks again. Be safe. Woohoo! Man, what a day to be alive. The sun is out. Temperature's rising. Snow's melting. Drinking a red IPA while I brew a red IPA. Oh. Couldn't ask for a better day. I mean, look at it. Oh. Life is good. Life is very good indeed. So the boil is pretty much, well, it's getting close to being done. Got a last top edition coming up shortly in about the next 10, 15 minutes. And then we are uh, going to chill things down. I've got the Dunkelweizen in here uh, racking right now into secondary because I need the space. Okay, so we're just getting ready for our last top drop. Uh, we got about, what, uh, yeah, nine seconds left. And the one thing that pisses me off about Beersmith on Android 
no alarms. Drives me friggin' mental. All this going in, boom! Ha! <laughs> so we got some Centennial in there, we got some Simcoe, we got some Amarillo, we got some really good stuff happening. Oh, it smells friggin' awesome. Just give that a bit of a stir and incorporate the, uh, the Holy Pops we have in there because they're going to take a little bit of a absorption. Now, I'm not really sure what this is going to do the final flavor of the beer, um, but these are my own Centennial Hops, so it's really, really cool being able to grow your own hops, make your own products, and then put them into a beer that you really like. So, I'm pretty happy the other way. Um, one thing though, I think I could have waited another week to harvest my hops. I may have harvest, harvested, did, 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 harvested, harvested them uh, a week too early. But you know what? It's all about learning. It's a second year plant. I got, uh, I think, just under a pound or just over a pound out of it. So, it should be good. The one challenge is going to be though, is going to be uh, drinking the wort into the primary because I have no hop filter, no hop blocker. So we'll see, we'll give her a shot and see what happens. Things are looking good though. It smells awesome. And I'm a happy Sammy. We'll be back and we've got everything collected and everything in primary and we'll be good to go. Cheers everybody, thanks again for watching. Back in about, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Okay, so here's the rub. Not disappointed because I haven't taken a gravity sample yet. Finished off at 18 liters right on the button. Right there, 18 liters. Shooting for 20. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take a gravity sample and see how high or low we are above what we're shooting for, which is 1062. 1062. So let's take the old gravity sample uh, refractometer of doom here. And I'm hoping we're high. We can add a little bit of water to re achieve our final volume. And I probably would have hit this, but leaf hops absorb a lot of water. Yeah, so this is, holy snap. We are 1069. 1069. Check this out. Hopefully this comes through in the video. See if it does or not. We're going to find out on editing. But 1069, which means we have a ways to go. Which tells me that I could probably dilute this with a little bit of water to bring it up to 1062. So we're gonna punch the numbers into Beersmith. We're gonna figure out what water we need to use uh, to bring it up to 1062, and hopefully that's about two liters, which would be, if it is two liters, I'm giggling. A little bit more, a little bit less. We've had a really good brew day nonetheless. Okay, so let me go uh, inside, punch the numbers into a Beersmith, and we'll go from there. We're going to go with two liters of water, which is what I have here, which will bring me up to 20 liters. Here we go. Boom, right on the 20 liter mark. So now what we're gonna do, give things a really good stir, take a gravity reading. Give things a really, really, really good stir and make sure that everything is nice and incorporated like so. So now we'll take a gravity sample and see how we're sitting. So we were, we were looking for 1062, which I'm thinking, hoping we're close to. This taste is freaking out great. It smells amazing. And we are sitting at Ten sixty 
1062 right on the button. Anyways, the cool thing is we were able to brew 20 got 20 about 20 cap, 20 liters of beer. Finished off a 1062 right on the button. Overshot my mash. Um, was low in uh, final volume going into primary. Now, that I have to say, I'm going to equate to the whole leaf hops. There's just still a lot of liquid in there that the whole leaf hops have absorbed. So, had I taken that into account, I think we would have been bang on the numbers without having to top up. Either way, topping up isn't a bad thing. It's not a, it is what it is. The simple fact of the matter is, I hit my numbers bang on on for the first time in forever which means to me the crush of the grain is good um had i not worried about whole leaf hops and adjusting my water volumes based on water absorption i would have hit it bang on so i think we're getting closer and closer and closer and closer so we're gonna call this brew day done i got my wort sitting there packed up in snow chilling why? Because sometimes it's good to brew with Mother Nature. Temperatures are going to drop down later. A little bit cooler tonight. Like I said, it is a balmy 2 degrees, I think, today. Let things cool down. Keep packing some snow around there. Take a temperature reading at our east tonight and see how things are in the morning. Anyways, you guys, good day. A very good brew day indeed. This is Sammy the Thirty Brewer saying, "If you do something to do with the homebrew, the mind's inside." And by all means, keep calm and brew on. And most importantly, please be safe. And if this is your first time watching any one of my videos, I do encourage you to like, subscribe, share the video. Doing so, do keep doing what I want to do. As some people say in the UK. Anyways, thanks so much, everybody. Take care. All the best, and be safe. Cheers. <laughs>